Hello, welcome to the video IntelliJ IDEA Connect to MySQL Database with me, Nam Bing from CodeJava.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to work with MySQL Database right inside IntelliJ IDEA using the database tool so you don't have to use any external program like MySQL Workbench or MySQL Command Line Clan. In details, I will show you how to make a connection to a MySQL database and then create a new table, update data in a table, how to execute some SQL statements, and how to use the SQL statement suggestion uh, when writing Java code in IntelliJ IDEA. And I suppose that you are using the following software programs Java Development Kit JDK, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, and MySQL Community Server. This is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer and as you can see, I'm opening a Java project in which I'm writing some Java code that connects to a MySQL uh, database here. And uh, to make a connection to a MySQL database right inside IntelliJ IDEA, you can open the uh, database view here. This uh, database view is uh, usually in the right side of the IDE here. If you don't see this uh, database view, you can press the shortcut key uh, SIP uh, Control A to see the uh, actions uh, quick menu here and type uh, database here and you can see the command that allows you to select the uh, database view you see and uh, Click the plus button here to create a new data source here to MySQL. And name this data source. Yeah. For example, sales in DB MySQL. And uh, I will connect to a database uh, on a local host. So the host name is a local host and provide the user and password. And the database name sales db. And you can see the ZBC URL here. If you want to Mm, uh, specify additional parameters options you can use this uh, advanced tab here and click the test connection button and you can see it says that the driver files are not downloaded and IntelliJ uh, is very useful it allows us to download the driver files automatically here so click download driver files here very convenient, right? So you don't have to manually download uh, ZBC driver for MySQL. And you can see uh, it has connected uh, to MySQL database server and you can see with a green check mark here. And the version of uh, MySQL server is uh, 5.7.20 here. OK, and click OK. Here we go, you see the uh, console editor here that uh, allows us to write and execute SQL statement here. And in the database view, we can browse the schemas and tables in the uh, database. You can see there are some uh, tables in this sales DB database here. You can see the columns of each table here. You see. Similarly, you can create an, another connection to uh, another uh, MySQL database. Yeah. NamDB MySQL is a root and the database name NamDB test connection. Succeeded, you see. Click OK. 
and this is a, a second uh, database connection to the uh, database schema namdb uh, as you can see here in this uh, database i have only one table customer here yeah? so you can create as many uh, data sources um, connections as you want in this uh, database tool and for each uh, connection it uh, brings uh, sql uh, control here that you can use to write uh, and execute sql statements here the database uh, tool provided by IntelliJ idea is uh, very advanced it allows uh, programmers to manage uh, databases uh, just like mysql workbench uh, or more advanced uh, you can uh, create new uh, table new schema and many uh, actions so when uh, finished working with the uh, database you can disconnect here click uh, choose the connection here and click the uh, red uh, button here to disconnect okay so i have disconnected from the sales db and now i'm working with the uh, nam db here and uh, let me show you how to create a new table in this uh, database right click new table here yeah enter the table name for example users and I click the plus button here to add a new column id type integer not null auto increment and a primary key and the second column is first underscore name type is vacha 45 not null and the third column is last name type vacha so you can see it's a very convenient easy to use so programmer uh, doesn't need to leave the IDE just manage the database right inside the IDE very convenient so I will create this table with three columns and you can see the SQL script automatically appears here to let you review and click the execute button here to create that table and you can see the newly created table users got appear here with uh, three columns id first name and last name very easy right and to manage update data in a table you can double click on the table name here and with uh, it we uh, select all rows uh, from the table and because this table is new so you can see no rows it is empty and let me double click the customer table here and you can see there are two rows in this table each uh, table data is uh, opened in a new tab here now let me insert a new row into this uh, user table here so you can click the plus uh, button here add new row And you can enter the values right inside the table here. First name is Nam. Last name is Ha. And I can uh, add as many rows as I wish here. Ravi Kuma. John. Go. and to uh, commit the changes to this table you can click the uh, submit button here you can see submit here or press the shortcut key control enter okay so that means uh, it has inserted uh, uh, three rows into this uh, user table
you can verify by close the tab and uh, uh, double click on the table again and you can see there are three uh, rows in this users table and to delete a uh, row you can select the row and click the minus button here delete a row and click the submit button to commit the changes and you can see now there are only two rows and to edit you can edit for example me yeah and click uh, submit here and it uh, commits the change very convenient very easy cool right Now I will show you how to write SQL statements and execute SQL statements. And uh, when uh, you uh, create a new connection, you can see it uh, opens the control uh, for a SQL statement here. Yeah? Uh, if you don't see don't see the uh, SQL console here, you can uh, right click on the database here, open query console here. Okay, and I can uh, type a SQL statement here. Select asterisk from the users table here, and you can see it also suggests as a condition here. Very cool. You can see the few names here, and also the operator uh, SQL syntax. Very very convenient. Here I want to select all rows from the users table. And click the execute button here or press the shortcut key, control enter. And you can see the result, the output of the execution of the SQL statement here. Two rows received from starting, starting from one here. And the real uh, data here, you can see uh, two rows here. Very convenient, right? And similarly, you can uh, write another SQL statement. Let users set first name equal name where ID equal one. And to execute this uh, statement, only you select it and uh, click the execute button here and you can see the result output here of the update SQL statement here one row of widget here and here in the result table you can click the refresh here refresh button here you can see first name has changed to name here perfect right and you can open as uh, many SQL console editor as you want by right click on the database and query console here. Now let me show you how to use uh, SQL inspection or SQL statement uh, auto completion succession in IntelliJ IDEA. So I already uh, wrote the code. Uh, for ZBC URL, username, password, make a connection, and now I want to write a SQL statement here. Insert into here, and I want to use the uh, SQL statement uh, inspection. So click on the hint here and select inject language or reference here. And in the list, you choose uh, SQL. Here, SQL. And you can see the text in the string here becomes uh, uh, orange here. And that means uh, IntelliJ IDEA will uh, provide succession for uh, SQL statement syntax here. But you uh, don't see any uh, suggestion for the table names or column names in the database SLDB here. 
so you need to uh, press the shortcut key shift control a and type sql a dialect here and click the sql dialect uh, for settings here and uh, select the project sql dialect here to mysql okay and now press uh, control space and you can see the suggestion for the table names here very convenient right i want to insert some a row into the students table and you can see the suggestion or also suggestion for the column names here name and row progress very convenient right so that's uh, how to use the sql statement inspection auto convention in intellij idea and know that i even uh, don't have any active connection in the database view yet IntelliJ idea automatically inspects the connection based on the zvc url here and then it will provide a succession of in the sql statement literal here you see the succession for table names uh, column names are very convenient right very cool so far you have learned how to work with mysql databases uh, right inside intellij idea you don't have to use an external program like mysql workbench or mysql command line client they're very cool and convenient right i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thank you